Hello, welcome to your month of September and seasonal quarterly readings for fall. The autumnal equinox begins on Friday, September 22nd at 1.02 p.m. Pacific Standard Time when the sun enters into the tropical sign of Libra at zero degrees, marking the turning of the seasons. We have a more favorable astrological event occurring this month which is Mercury going station direct on September 5th in Leo. In August, we were able to use the Mercury retrograde as an opportunity to reflect on the power of our words. This month, communication will begin to run more smoothly. For your readings, I will combine the month of September and fall seasons together in two parts. So for the first part will be the monthly forecast for September and the second part will be for autumn where I will draw four cards. One card for the remainder of September from the 22nd through the 30th, two cards for the months of October and November as a whole, and a card for December up until the winter solstice on the 21st. Okay, so let's get started with your readings. Gemini, for the month of September, I'm using the original Rider Waite deck, and I'm going to be doing the Celtic Cross Spread. So let's see what the energy looks like for the month of September for Gemini's. Interesting. Okay. There's some sort of opportunity that's coming to you, Gemini. And I'm not sure if you are going to take it. Okay. It has to do with your advancement. It has to do with your general success. You're feeling empowered and motivated to move forward. And this is all about balance, too. So you're moving forward in a balanced way. Um, you're being very careful is what I'm seeing. This is good. Um, there's something that's coming toward you. It's an opportunity usually when I see this card show up. I'm like, okay, your ships are coming in. There's some sort of opportunity. Um, it's arriving. Now, whether or not you actually take it, I don't know. You're feeling sort of stuck in some way, like you can't take it. Or maybe you're feeling restricted. I get the sense that you want to move forward with something. You want to say yes, but you're sensing that there could be strings attached. Okay? And you're, I feel like you're being very discerning. I said, like, like I said with the chariot card, I feel like you're being very careful. Okay? Because you don't want to overburden yourself. You don't want to take on too much. You don't want to say yes and then um, down the line um, have too much you're like oh man I wish I hadn't said yes to that thing right because um, then you're sort of doing it all on your own I feel like somebody is saying that they might help you with something but you're not really sure whether or not they actually will you have a lot of court cards which is really interesting there's a pairing here that I'm seeing I see the Queen of Cups is the foundation okay she's a very sweet very caring very sensitive woman she means the best okay she doesn't usually have cruel intentions the queen of swords in the environment may have some sort of she she can be a little harsh and i'm not saying that she had, does have cruel intentions but i do see that you know she can be a little bit bitter she can be maybe even resentful in some way or she's just sort of has this energy of like either being angry or just really domineering or very fixed in her way she's very opinionated and you tend to be a little bit more flexible your significator court card is coming up as the knight of swords which is the final outcome you do have the queen of swords the knight of swords you have the queen of cups and then you also, you are the Knight of Wands, okay? So I feel like you are have a lot going on 
here. Uh -huh. For some of you, I see a new car coming into the picture or some sort of new vehicle. Okay, this is a vehicle, it's a mode of transportation because this has to do a lot with movement here and there and short trips. The chariot also is that um, vehicle of how you get from point A to point B, okay? Maybe there's something very enticing that comes along and you might have problems with it. Maybe the transmission or something like that. I don't know. There's some sort of mechanical workings that are not right in it. There's an opportunity for you, but it's like, mm, you might want to sort of keep looking. That's the sense that I'm getting. If you are looking for a car, I don't know. It's very specific. It won't apply to everyone, obviously. But either way, you're going to you're going to be um, making a lot of trips, a lot of errands, getting things done on day to, on a day-to-day -day basis. This is a card of movement, very busy. The chariot, again, in a sense, if it's not a literal interpretation of a car, then you are just moving forward. And this is your vehicle, this is your mode of how you are going to be successful. You're going to be careful, you're going to be balanced, um, you're going to be cautious, and I do see that you do have an element of protection around you, okay? Um, there is an element of restraint or restric restriction either way here. Um, you're feeling stuck about something. I don't see any pentacle cards. I don't see any cup cards either. Wow. Well, no, I do. I do see one. The queen of cups. Um, but you have the three of wands, ace of wands, ten of wands. In the past... You sort of took some time. I feel like a lot of you may have taken some time in August to sort of rethink, regroup. This has a lot to do with the Mercury retrograde. Taking some downtime. Um, maybe you didn't feel like you had the energy. This is a card of healing and relaxing. It's R&R. &R. It's rest and rejuvenation, recuperation, all of that, okay? Now you're feeling you got the motivation. You're energized. You're like, yes, I took the time I needed. Now I you know, um, feeling excited to accomplish it. I'm motivated, I'm determined. And it looks like you could run into some sort of obstacle here um, with taking on too much because you feel so excited about something. There is somebody in the environment, she may be discouraging, he or she may be discouraging to you, or they're like, look, you need a reality check, or you need to check up, you need to check yourself, <laughs> whatever that is. Maybe she's signing your check, I don't know. I was hearing that. So she's gonna tell you something. There's some sort of information that is needed. That's why you're not diving in because I feel like you sense that there is something missing here. You need to know more and that's why you're restricting yourself from this opportunity. This opportunity may have strings attached, something like that. This is the general energy. Um, some of you may turn around and run the other way. Some of you may charge straight into a situation that you're going to feel a little bit oppressed by. Some of you may just, you know, um, have a lot of mental activity and mental swiftness, okay? This is, again, your Significator card of Gemini. It's mutability, it's movable, it's, an, it's that air sign quality, and you're very quick you're very intellectual, you pick up on things very quickly. The subtle cues, you do read them. I feel like the signs are gonna be there. I feel like you're definitely gonna pick up on it, whatever it is. You need more information and you're going to look for it. Okay. So that's the general energy of what I'm seeing for this month of um, August. So let's go ahead and look at what autumn is going to look like for you Gemini's out there. So just like I mentioned in the intro, I will be pulling four cards. Okay. September, October, November, December. Well, there's the swordswoman again. This may be the 
queen of swords. She's showing up as a princess here. Um, she's got some sort of valuable information. Um, she knows. I feel like this is, she's very helpful. She may be very stern. She may, may be very um, cut and dry with the way that she delivers her information. But she's been there, done that, she knows. She has the experience. It would be wise to listen to her. She does mean the best for you, okay? Um, Prince of Wands, okay. I see someone like playing lip service to you, okay? What may seem to be, it feels a little gimmicky here. There are the two queens, or excuse me, the two princesses here and I did see the two queens before so I feel like you're going to be dealing with two different people that approach a different the situation differently they are very different personalities um this one she's all flash she's all you know excitement but then it dies out it's not like a long-term thing for her she's just you know goes with something new and shiny and sparkly okay and there's a lot of energy if this is also another aspect of yourself as being that knight of wands energy for september you're gonna have a lot of your energy back where you may have felt drained in august a lot of you are going to be feeling motivated you're going to be feeling excited again you want to accomplish stuff maybe you've taken some time out some to, to rest and all of that and it's like you're feeling fired up you're ready to go okay so october i see the seven of cups Okay, a little bit of fantasy. Um, this is creativity. You've got a lot of options that you get to explore here. Um, you have a lot of options. You have opportunities coming to you. You may not know which one the best is for you, but it's just really all on you. No one's going to tell you this month. No one's going to guide you. It's all going to be on what your feeling is. It's okay to make a decision and then change your mind later. That's sort of the sense that I'm getting. But this is about illusions, dreams, fantasies, all of that sort of thing. And you, you're you maybe fearful of making the wrong decision. Um, let's not overthink it. Let's feel it. All right, I do see a little bit more downtime. The hanged man is coming in for November. Okay, so this is hanging out. It's also seeing things from other people's point of view, other people's perspective, which I feel like you're really good at doing since you are a mutable air sign. Um, but the hangman is an element of surrender, okay, to whatever shall be, shall be, okay? Um, and you're, you're accepting. This month you're accepting whatever it is um, it feels like you have a, a more spiritual connection um, I didn't see any Pentacle cards for September and I'm not seeing any Pentacle cards here either I'm seeing a cup sword wand like you had in the other spread and then another wand here so I do get that there's a sense of like needing to find some sort of grounding. Um, the day-to-day -day life may be a little bit boring. Maybe you're looking for some more excitement. Maybe you want some sort of fantasy to come true. You want to live in that, you know, sort of dreamy sort of realm, sort of escape reality for a while. The hangman is also taking some time out from, you know, society, basically, or your social circle for contemplation and all of that. This is like alone time, meditative time, um, insights and answers that come through quiet reflection, all of that. Then I see things being a little bit hectic in December. We have Christmas, we have you know, the winter solstice coming up for the beginning of uh, December. It just looks really crazy. It looks crazy with your involvement in a group. It just looks very scattered, very disorganized. You may feel as though you're sort of spinning your wheels a little bit. Um, I feel like you can handle it though, whatever sort of competition or whatever sort of adversary you might approach or deal with. I feel like since you have this um, before this, I feel like you're in a good state of mind. I feel like you're in a, your spirit is peaceful enough where this isn't as hard to deal with. Okay, maybe other people 
or sort of giving you a hard time, but I feel like if you remain centered and focused, you'd be able to handle whatever sort of crazy energy sort of comes in here, okay? So that's kind of what I'm seeing for fall as a whole, just in general. And this part is a little bit unscripted. I didn't mention it in the intro, but I do feel compelled to pull an oracle card from the daily guidance from the angels oracle deck. It's a Dorian Virtue deck. And I just thought it would be nice to cap off your reading with one of these card messages. So let's see what the angels have to say for your September and for fall in general. Okay, so I got the wedding card. Uh, I didn't really see that come up in either of your spreads. This is interesting that this is showing up. This is what it looks like. It says, marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect, and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith in love's power. Continually breathe life into that faith and love, dearest one. Okay, so whether or not you are actually getting married, whether or not you are actually going to a wedding um, this fall or this month, I do get the, the themes here that really stick out to me about desires to deepen love over time and faith in love's power. And um, it's just really about faith and love and having uh, hope for, um, for love and love to develop and all of that. So this is a very positive, beautiful message. And if it applies to you, then wonderful. I hope you found this uh, reading helpful, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking and sharing my videos and for subscribing to my channel. If you would like a personalized reading that is specific to you and your circumstances, please contact me through my website, sungoddessashley.com, or via email. I will leave the links in the description box below. Wishing you the best month of September and commencement of autumn.